Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to download a font from SoFancy and use it on your iPad. So the first thing you need to do is navigate to the order where the font is and download the font. That will add it to your iPad downloads folder. You'll see it up here. Click on the zip folder. It'll bring you into downloads for your iCloud driver wherever it's set to download. Um, here you just tap on the zip folder. It's going to show you a new blue folder. Click on that and you will see that there are three versions of the Cooper Jackson font. So um, just a real quick rundown about fonts and what the different files are. Um, the WOFF is the web open font file. So we are not going to be using that one. The OTF is the open type font. That is the font that includes all of those special characters that we love to use in Cricut Design Space and Silhouette Studio, etc. cetera. Um, that file includes glyphs, dingbats, those swashes and swirls, all the special little features that you like in our fonts. Um, the TTF, that is the true type font. That font was originally made in the 80s and that was for the uh, use of being able to having the font open on both Windows and Mac. So that is a web font as well. We're going to install the OTF. Okay, so now that we have the fonts downloaded, it is not yet installed. So we do need to install an app on the iPad that is separate from um, Cricut or Silhouette that and the one that I use is iFont. So I'm going to show you that next. Okay, so once you have the iFont app installed, click on it and it's going to bring you to this first screen here that says installer and I'm going to click on find fonts to install and then open files. This will bring me to my downloads folder here, which is my iCloud drive. And you're gonna click on the folder and then click select and then choose the font, which is the Cooper Jackson OTF and then click open. Okay, so now down here on the installer tab, it has the white or it has the red notification. It's going to show you here now listed what you've selected to, that you found on your device, click install. Okay, click allow. So it will cr create a configuration profile for this font. And then it's basically telling you that you now have to go into the settings app to install the font. So click close and then done. Okay, now you wanna open up settings. Click on settings and then go down here under VPN and click profile. This is going to show the font that we just created a profile with in iFont. So the iFont app basically creates a profile for each font that you install and it will be listed here in the settings app under general profile. Now you have to click on the font and then in the right corner there you have to click install. So install and then you have to put in your pass after you put in your passcode it's going to say hey this profile is not signed that's okay click install and then click install again then click done and now this font is on your iPad. You can now access it with any program including Cricut Design Space. So let's go there and check that out. All right, so go to Cricut Design Space and here you can click on text and I was already searching for it, but you can see now if I click on Cooper Jackson, I can use this font in my um, canvas. Okay, so there you go, very easy. A few steps, need the iFont or another. There are a few different apps that you can use, um, but this one is one that I'm comfortable with and that I enjoy using. So if you have any questions, post them below, um, below the blog post and we'll try to help you out. Um, but the best place to get any answers is generally our Facebook page. Uh, you can visit us through any of the links located at the bottom here as well. All right, thanks everyone, have a great day.